Does Russia have anything that can counter an F-16? Any jets or air power whatsoever? I could be wrong, but my understanding is that an F-16 is so advanced relative to Russian air power that it would be very unfair for the Russian jets. Like, it wouldn't be impossible for them to shoot down an F-16, especially if it was mishandled, but an F-16 is advanced enough that it would be a very uneven playing field. That is what I've heard. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's fully true, but that is what I have heard, that it would be very powerful with, with regard to like air superiority over Ukraine. It's like nine tenths of the way to being able to no clip through Russian air defense. Yeah, you, we're, we're, we're trying to break the game here, you know, F-16s are really old. Well, the platform F-16 is right, but the F-16s that Ukraine is getting aren't the oldest ones. It's a platform that's been developed and built on. Yeah, the um the the F-16s that uh you, that Ukraine is getting aren't like the aren't like the original ones, you know? Yeah, even America's old stuff is pretty damn good, you know. F-22s and F-35s are much more advanced. Well, yeah, of course, but we don't need to give Ukraine F-35s. Don't you think that's a little bit overkill? Like pa past a point it's like, "Okay, Zelensky, here's the keys to our orbital laser cannon." Like you, like you know, like past a point, like you know, yeah, some weapons we keep, some weapons we keep for fighting aliens, you know, we don't, we don't need to give all of them away. I mean, yeah, fuck it, why not? Because, because well, two actual reasons. First of all, uh, they'd have to be trained on the F-35, which would be very difficult. Second of all, um, very expensive. And then third of all, if, if an F-35 somehow got shot down over Russia, that's actual state secrets they would get access to. If an F-35 got shot down over the Russian heartland, America would deploy SEAL Team 6 to recover the debris before Russia could because there would be like actual military secrets in the wreckage. So we, you know, we'll stick with the F-16s. And before the Russians break out the M-50s MiGs to combat the F-16s, the main thing that makes the F-16 way the f better than the stuff Russia is fielding is its uh, targeting system, right? Like my understanding is that when, 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 when dogfights were first a thing, like at the very beginning, air on air combat, we had dudes in biplanes firing pistols at each other. And then past a point, we have like the standard World War II dogfights where you have like machine guns on the front of the plane and you're doing like maneuvers. And then we made jets and missiles and stuff. And the F-16 at its current point of development is capable of locking on and firing very deadly missiles at a greater range than anything Russia can meaningfully field it in numbers, right? Like a fight between an F-16 and anything Russia deployed would be like the F-16 pilot, like seeing a dot light up on the screen and going like, oh, 50 miles away. Boop. And then just like five minutes later, something on the other side of the horizon explodes. It, it, it's not even like a fair fight, you know? That's my understanding. Um, at greater range, the eye can see, yeah. Over the horizon combat. Vosh, the F-15, has 105 aerial victories over zero losses. Imagine just a few of those. Yeah. Did you see the clip of U.S. airmen and airwomen getting ultra excited when being told what planes they fly? Ignore the Chud comment. Or Chud account. Hold on. This is... I haven't seen this, but I bet it's going to be really endearing. Are you ready to see what you're about to fly? Let's see it. Congratulations. You are you are being given the keys to the weapon we will use against the aliens. When when all hope is lost and like all major population centers have been have been shot from orbit, this is what will like take to the skies and 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 save the world, okay? Uh, he wanted the 22. He wanted the Raptor. Let's find out. Alright, are you ready to find out what you can fly? Send it. The, the A-10 guy's like, yes, I want to kill allies and enemies. I, 
which I am I am mentally projecting myself back to an earlier combat doctrine where there are clear convoys of enemies and my one and only job is to fly over them at eight miles an hour and reduce everything beneath me to paste. Modern targeting, modern speeds, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like an alien. How do you know what it means? Well, the uh, pilots are expensive and well trained. There's th this is this is a, a very big deal to them. Like this is their life, you know. Remember, if you hear the Bert, it wasn't for you. It's easier than you. Oh. The classic A10 Bert. How does everyone just know what each jet is? B because they're all pilots. What do you mean? He means chat. Um, you don't have to know that much about. Basically, all you need to know is there's only there's only like like a maybe what a, a a dozen or so planes. You really need to. I mean, yeah, it's autism. Okay, it's autism. Pilots will spend their whole lives in that frame. The U2 pilots spend on so much time in the jet they have to carry meth with them to avoid issues of sleep. Yeah, meth used to be issued like standard uh, to uh, pilots. Unfortunately, Israel also has the F-35. Sorry, guys. They were the first ones to use it, even. If Ukraine had this shit. If you if Ukraine had like a few dozen F-35s, then air, then air control wouldn't even be... It would A few dozen F-35s in the hands of Ukraine would be in like un... It would be like an, an, an unassailable advantage. Russia would be new Ukraine, exactly. You know, gl glorious eastern Ukraine. Um, yeah. Would they overcome Russian AA? I'm pretty sure the F-35 could reliably fire from distances great enough that it wouldn't even have to get near anti-air. I also think, can't the... Can't the F-35, generally speaking, like, fly high, low, and fast enough that it can reasonably evade most? Like, because the, there's like a, a, it's like an arms race between anti-air and the jets. And like, past a point, the jets get fast enough that the old AA doesn't work. Or, or the, like, the, 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 the elevation or the, their ability to turn. The F-35 is full stealth, I think. Is it? Is it full stealth? Can it do that? The F-35 is uh, actually wild to think. Yeah, yeah. It's full stealth? Uh... Stealthy, supersonic, single-engine, supersonic, stealth, multi-role fighters. This is just like the the big modern, like this is the plane of the modern era of the of the militarized West. Yeah, the F twenty two is more specialized, I think. Radar absorbent fiber mat skin to preserve its stealth shaping. It has two internal weapons bays, each with two weapon stations. Da -da -da. Sheesh. Yeah, what is the range on these? Operational range, 25 plus kilometers. Psychotic. L like, past a point, you're, you have fighter jets that can, that, that, that can like, attack your anti-air emplacements before they even get in the range. This is the short range one. This is like just the air to air. What about the air to ground? Joint air to surface standoff, AGM-158. Operational range, 230 miles. <laughs> that, that... That feel when you're anti-air can't lock on to the stealth jet 230 miles away <laughs> and delete it in time. So America has air superiority? Yes. Over everything. Ukraine needs this now. Tactical air-to-surface anti-radiation missile designed to home in on electronic transmissions coming from surface-to-air radar systems. Range? From the AGM-88G, 300 kilometers. Literally an anti-air air-to-surface missile. <laughs> An anti-anti-air seeking air-to-surface missile. Yeah. And it's called the Harm. Hey, Vosh, I had a friend that worked on an F-35. They're sm so smart, sometimes they turn themselves on. This one time, my friend got a call from his chief that uh, security forces needed help turning off an F-35 that attempted to leave its hangar. What? All right, I'm not going to unpack that or even question its veracity. I'm just going to assume it's true and move on with my life. The F-35 detected a whiff of Russian somewhere in the distance. They just want to kill. It's their job.